right from the top, sir. Well, top uh, is, uh, is, you can explain the action, but the dynamism disappears. Because if you're not seeing people on the eye level, where power and energy can be felt on an eye level, you know, from top it becomes a little less. Hula Mohalla is a celebration during Holi time and Hula Mohalla primarily concerns the army of Guru Gobind Singh. They were the defenders of this country and they, why they decided to not to shave and cut their hair because they had to always be ready and available to fight the enemy. So they decided not to waste time on having a shave and cutting your hair and looking good like that. The history is what got me really involved. A lot of the stories here in Anandpur Sahib with the wars, with the hill rajas and uh, the moguls, but a lot of that really got me very passionate about it, but also the equality that it promotes for humans and a sovereignty is something that I really, really uh, connected with. The brave ladies of our Sikhism, like Mata Pakwarji, she fought very bravely in the war with Guru Gobind Singh Ji. And I am thinking that I am sister of her, I am daughter of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, and I also want to fight very bravely in the war, as I am the daughter of a Sikhism. Hula Mohalla signifies something very important you know, in our daily life, who we were and how we've lost touch with the most organic and indigenous things we used to do. I'm seeing it for the first time and that's where I try to innovate when looking at it like a, like a little child, you know, who's seeing it for the first time. Entire event, you know, it is a uh, forms a brotherhood of the people, you know. The community which prays together, cooks together, eats together, so you stay together also. So that is the best part of it that you know the people have got the feeling of a brotherhood is always, always there with the people. Shastra Vedya, just for the sake of that we should not forget about the Sikhism. Shastra Vedya is not for the fight or not, it's about the defense. How we get defense from the all five enemies like Kam, Krodh, Lob, Mohankar, the five main enemies of the human being. I didn't know anything about Nihangs or horses or anything, only through the history. I'm from Texas, so I've been riding horses all my life. The horses have been like a sign because I deeply love them. When I 
actually came to Hala Mahala in 2012, I saw the display of the horses and I jumped on a horse and I rode and I raced. The thing is, first of all, you have to be empty, clean and pure. Then you try to concentrate and connect with every inch of space, every person, every movement, every energy that is touching you. Then the situation tells you what to do. And that will be refreshing and powerful. Life and nature keep changing. It keeps changing all the time. So what is very important is that you don't sit like a big guy who is going to control this movement and this expression your way. As a person, as a Singhani and Hungani, you learn about yourself, um, which is something like, uh, that I cherish deeply. And it's about that. Ekon ka satnam kare ta upre ka nirbo nirvel akamurita ajun.